Welcome once again to our video daily devotions, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Pastor Poppy. Today, September 14, on the church's calendar, we have a wonderful, wonderful minor festival that we recount, remember, we'll celebrate as well tomorrow night in our divine service here at Good Shepherd. September 14 is Holy Cross Day. The epistle reading from Holy Cross Day, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 to 25. For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of the world, the world did not know God through wisdom, it pleased God through the folly of what we preach to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks seek wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and folly to Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Holy Cross Day. The cross is an international symbol of Christianity. We have beautiful, ornate, icon-like crosses. We have crosses like this crucifix that I wear, where we see the arms of the cross bending with the weight of our Lord and Savior Jesus. We see crosses that are empty. We see crosses that have the body of Jesus. We see crosses that have other things on them, like our marvelous John 3.16 cross with the globe in the middle. The cross reminds people of the Christian faith, or at least it should. People often cross themselves inside or outside of the church as a reminder that they are baptized. That's right. That's what making the sign of the cross is to remind us of. We are baptized into the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We make the sign of the cross because it is in and only in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ that we have life. Life to the full, life everlasting. The message of the cross, as the Apostle Paul under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit teaches us, the message of the cross is foolishness to the world. How can an instrument of death, like the Roman cross, bring about life? In our wisdom, we come up with all kinds of ways to live, live longer, live better. Freezing our dead bodies that maybe they can be woke up at a later time and then live forever. My friends, God laughs at our foolish attempts to live. He laughs because he has given us life. Life now, life everlasting. Through the foolishness of the cross. Foolishness to the world, but the very wisdom of God. Because it is on this cross that God in the flesh, Jesus Christ, died. Died the death we deserve. Died the death we earned. Died death and killed it forever. 
The cross reminds us of God's great love for us in Jesus Christ. The God who would send his son into the world to suffer and die in our place. This is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as the atoning sacrifice for our sins. That's what the cross means. The forgiveness of sins earned by his bloody death and three days later, his victorious resurrection. My friends, on this Holy Cross Day, rejoice. Rejoice. Even if the world laughs at the cross, rejoice that through the folly of the cross, God has brought you life. Life everlasting. And that life everlasting isn't only something for after we die. No, Christianity isn't some pie in the sky when you die kind of philosophy. It is life right now as we live in this forgiveness of sins, as we love in this forgiveness of sins. And as Psalm 30 teaches us, we can even dance in the forgiveness of sins because God's love for you will never expire, will never need a booster, will never run out. His love for you in Jesus Christ is forever. Thanks be to God. Amen.